Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomologist crop based pest classification and I am going to cover the topic papaya so which is a pest of papaya so these are the major pest which was present in papaya and i am going to explain one by one to you in this video so the first major pest in papaya is papaya minibug so where the scientific name is paracoccus marignatus which gives it to comes under the family hemiptera and order pseudococcidae so in this papaya we can able to see a white mealy cover or white mealy coating present in the whole plant including the stem as well as also in the fruit so the whole distribution of these mealy bug papaya found almost in most parts of the india and they use it to suck the sap as well as suck the nutrient from the plant so which use it to cause wilting as well as even dieback symptom in the plants and they use it to have a host range other than papaya or hibiscus as well as in goa so this type of paracoccus marignatus papaya mealy bug which is also said to be found in hibiscus as well as in goa so these are the damages which was caused by papaya in the papaya plantation places and uh, next the management of these papaya mealybug can be release of some predators like asparagus papaya as well as pseudo lopomastis mexicana or anagris loci so these are some of the uh, parasites which can be released in the field level for the controlment of me papaya mealybug and so orals we can able to move for the management of papaya mealybug with chemicals like so propanopause 2 ml per liter orals frost 40 gram per liter can be applied in the field based on the recommended dosage which was uh, mentioned in the chemicals orals we can able to maintain the natural native predators like uh, chrysoperla zotriara um, cryptolamus as well as Paragus caterpillars in the field level which used to reduce us the incidence of papaya mealybug in the field level and so the next one is fruit fly where the scientific name is Bactrocera dorsalis and which used to come under the family Diptera and order Tepritidae so while seeing about this fruit fly they used to have a wide host range other than papaya so controlling this um, without the host plant is to be difficult one so we are directly move for some of the you know, specialized management for these kinds of insects so while seeing about the bionomics of these fruit fly the larva which is said to be an autophagous maggot which is said to be yellowish in color and uh, also the adult which is said to be light brown with the transparent uh, wings are said to be present in these fruit fly of papaya and so while seeing about the damage so maggots are the major um, part which is used to cause damage so maggots which is used to puncture at the semi ripened fruit and use it to form a decay spots present in the whole fruit and also there is a oozing of fluid and brownish rotting patches on the fruit based on the severity of the damage and also there is a dropping of fruit in the several cases and uh, for controlling these fruit fly the fallen and infested fruit can be picked up and disposed and summer plowing to expose the pupa which is present in the soil and also monitor the activity with uh, the presence of methyl exoglucan 6 lute taps uh, present in the field at uh, 10 per hectare and also the spraying of phenethion 100 ec 2 ml per liter or malathion 50 ec 22 ml per liter based on the recommendation and the field level can be sprayed and also the field release of natural enemies like opm compensators as well as palangia philippines so these are some of the parasites which we can able to release in the field level and so the next one is white fly where the scientific name is bemisia tabaki which is used to come under the family for the papaya white fly is alluridae and uh, order hemiptera so while seeing about the binomics so the egg which is said to be a pear shaped one as well as in other crops and the nymph which is said to be a oval small uh, scale like structure with a greenish white in color and the adult which is said to be a whitish one with a tiny scale uh, which is said to be present in adult and so while seeing about the damage the major symptom is nymph as well as adult which used to suck the plant sap from the under surface of the leaves and so which used to causes yellowing of the leaves so in several cases they used to transmit papaya um, virus viruses uh, through sucking of the trans, uh, plant from sap from one plant to another and so the best management practice for these white fly or installation of yellow sticky traps and also the spraying and application of imidacloprid 200 sl at 0.01 percentage per uh, um, liter 
or else trials of us 40 EC at 0.06 percentage formulation as a recommended dosage can be sprayed in the field level or else we can able to move for them some natural sprayings like neem oil 3% or neem seed kernel extract 5% in the field level and also we can able to make a release of predators at a Cryptolemma montresa also release of parasites like Encarnia hartesi or else Encarnia glodopia species in the field level is an effective against these white flies and the next one is green peach apid so which is uh, one of the major as well as the serious pest in papaya so uh, where the scientific name is Mises pericaceae and so the symptom of damage is both the uh, green peach apids uh, nymph and adult use it to suck the plant leaves and uh, petioles as well as even in the fruits so the while sucking the leaves they use it to form a leaf curling as well as falling down of the leaf structures and also we can able to see the premature few drop present when there is a presence of green feature aphid so these are the major symptoms and they are even in some several cases they use it to show a dieback symptom in most of the plants and so while seeing about these green feature aphids uh, binomics the exa which is said to be a very tiny as well as shiny black which is said to be found in cervix bud stem as well as bark of the plant so nymph which is an immature state with a period of around 7 to 10 days so these are said to be wingless adults but they are smaller when compared to the adult ones so the adult which is said to be small which are uh, grows up to the size of around 1 to 4 mm long they use it to have a two antenna which are used to resemble as their horns and they also use it to have known as the soft body insects so the management of these aphids or removal of uh, and destruction of the damaged plant and also the field sanitization must need to be made and also the spraying of dimethate 0.03 percentage uh, or methyl dematon at 0.025 percentage at a particular emasculation must need to be sprayed, sprayed at the field level so that we can able to maintain the papaya without any disturbance of these uh, aphids and also we can able to go for field release of predators like coquina species in the field level which use it to reduce the aphid incidence in the fields and so the next one is ash weevil where the scientific name is Mylocera species so the major symptom of ash weevil is the grub which used to feed on the roots so which used to cause us wilting of young saplings and notching the leaf margins by adult is a uh, resemblance we can able to see there is a presence of ash will evil in the field level and so the identification of pest uh, which is grub which is said to be small and out of first stage and also the adult which is greenish white with dark lines on the elytra is an effective one and the next one which is a management collection and destruction of the adult is an effective one and spraying carbonyl 50 wp at 2 gram per liter and dust linden at 1.3 d at 25 kg per hectare to kill grubs is an effective one at the field level so i have given the lecture notes in description and comment up the video and join us in the instagram page and if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos